Okay, rice experiment. Actually, maybe this should be called the consciousness experiment, because that's what this is about. Okay, so obviously these are just uh, little glass jars with lids, all washed up. And then here is some cooked rice. Not much, because the rest of it is in my tummy. Now, uh, this is going in here. One spoonful in there. There they go, two little glass containers of rice. Love and hate. So I'm going to take the love, or we'll stick this one. Actually, we'll stick it across the top there, like that. Look. Love, hate. Every day for the next month. I'm going to love this rice. Send it some love. Just think love. And with this rice, I'm going to think hate, horrid, hate it, evil rice. That's going to be the only difference between these two identical containers of rice, apart from the word and the intention. Day three, fennel seed. Still fine. The love rice. Still completely fine. As is the hate rice. Nothing to report. No changes. Still no change. Day four. See you tomorrow. Okay, so this is day five. And I think you can see on the hate rice, blue mould. Uh, you can see that it's started to mould. Day five. Day six. And you can see the mould grow in there on the hate rice. Look at that. Day seven. Day eight. Day nine, the effects of thought on reality. The difference between these two pieces of rice, now that one has got bad negative energy going to it, and one's got love, good energy. The impact of consciousness on reality. Day 10. Day 11. So this is day 13. I dropped this little jam jar of rice, but I think you can see that's gone really bad. It's gone disgustingly bad. Liquid on the bottom. And there's this rice. This, honestly, still looks good enough to eat. 13 days of love and 13 days of negative energies. If this is what happens to rice, what happens to you when you have good or bad thoughts?